Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to do a little watch list on the coronavirus. Five tickers that I will be watching next week. Plus, I have a watch list right here. You're willing to stop this video at any time and write some of these tickers down from volume high to volume low. And we just did a video on uh, our Sunday's report that included INO and GILD. And I did a little video on SPEX on Saturday. You can also watch that. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. So here we go. We're going to go straight to Lake. Or let's let me give you the tickers that I'm going to be calling out. Lake, APT, CODX, COCP, and NNVC. Let's go straight to Lake. Lake has that protective gear that you wear, real heavy duty stuff for doctors and scientists and uh, uh, rescuers and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But let's go straight to the stock, and I'm going to type that in right now. L-A-K-E. We had that real good breakout here a while back. Right now, it's kind of like a head and shoulders we're looking at on 20-day. We got a little resistance level. I don't know if we're going to see that 38.48 again, but man, what a great run it did have. I'm going to draw these little trend lines in here just to keep a good eye on, on them. But we more or less pulled back to the support level that I've called out in previous videos at 15.73. I do have a low support at 14.46, and we had a little ascending triangle right here. Where was that at? I think it was right down in here, yes. Let me pull that back up so I can take another look at that. Right in here. So we're going to kind of pull a little support level out of our hat. Right down here at, at a little support of right around 1357. So right now we're above that support line. We come back and we've touched that twice, that 1573. And what we need to do is try to bring this back up to a resistance level. I see one here that we tried to get up to, and that's right around 1878. But we've got to break these moving averages here and get it on past this little trend line right here, and that's going to be at 1766. So let's pull this up to the three minute. Pull it up to the five day, and get a better look. We've kind of been in this channel all last week. We have produced lower highs, which is kind of negative. But we've also created a triple bottom down here at the 1573 level. So we need to hold that 1573 or we're going to come down here to 1446. If not, we need to go ahead and break this past the 1766 area, area and maybe get to 1805 and 1878. And that's going to be a hard resistance to break. I'm going to turn that into a red line real fast. And that's going to be a hard resistance. So right now we're in this channel. The resistance to break is going to be this 1878 and bring it up to these new resistance levels that I see above here. And let's go to the next ticker. The next ticker we're going to talk about is going to be APT, also a protective gear. Now this has had a real good run. Let's see if it's had any news here lately. We'll just type that in here real fast. Okay. Legendary stock picker. And I'm not seeing much. I know they got a big, you've been getting some big contracts for some masks and stuff, so I don't see much in here on the news wise. We'll go straight to the ticker. Pull up Lake. APT. See if Meritrade has any news on it. 8:30. Health officials say the coronavirus has continued to spread. Americans consider can, should consider attending without attending large gatherings, and kind of you know I guess just be careful. Don't put your hands to your face. Just be around your surroundings. Just be positive around your surroundings. But I don't see much down here. It's talking about New York City. They've had an additional 13 cases, so that's not too good for New York. 
So I'm just saying this got to be on the back of your list. Let's go ahead and check it out and see where we are on the on the. Pick this news off. Pull up the. 20 day that's what I'm going to be monitoring in a way we had the big breakout here of the low that Vegas and I called around here around four four or five bucks and we've had nothing but a run ever since we did hit a resistance level of 4532 and we did had a pullback here we kind of I called these pullbacks in the in last week's video and we did have a pretty hard sell-off on Monday and it found a bottom found it right at the top of this old ascending triangle right here at 1352 so I had two little red line support levels I had the 1352 and the 1638 we did run back to that 200 on the 20 day one hour chart we did have a triple bottom or a double bottom right here and it never could touch back down to that 1630 that 1352 area so that's going to be your solid support that has to hold if not it can pull back to these other two numbers but or maybe one right in here too I'm seeing right there at that 1151 to 1016 area if not we need to break the resistance level of 1639 and bring it up to a resistance level that was up here for that first third resistance above 20 bucks and anytime you're up in this little area, we did try to break that once before when we pulled back to the double bottom at the low support, and it did bounce up. So the last four days, it has pulled back a little bit, but we're going to see how this week runs with it. Resistance to breaks got to be that $20 to $21. That's going to be your resistance channel to break. The next one we're going to talk about is CODX. I'm going to pull it up. See this is the website CODX see if we have any news on it for a catalyst last week ready to meet US vice presidents and plead more domestic tests so yeah they're they're wanting to get the tests going for these things more companies are offering to run tests. Yeah, everybody wanting to pull out these test kits. So this is a big CODX is a big, big thing about the test kits. We're going to go straight to the stock itself. CODX. Watching this one too. It also has had a pullback since the big run up to twenty six dollars. I have a twenty four eighty five resistance. We did have a double bottom down here at this 1134 area, so that's what needs to hold. 1134, we're going to put that into a three here. I'm going to make that thick. We could have a triple bottom on it. We are, we did have a higher lows there into close on Friday, which was a good sign that this may be a catalyst to bring it back up to this resistance level of 1513. Now we need to break that. Yeah, I'm going to take that off there. No, nope, I didn't put it on there yet. Right there around 1513. That's going to be your resistance to break. We do have a little pivot point area in here, and that's going to be right at 1417. So our next three resistances and the one we do need to break is going to be this red line that I'm going to put on here for CODX. And that's going to be the 1513 area with a low support of 1134. I don't want to see it go no lower than that or we'll be getting under 10 bucks and I don't want to see that at all. But I do want to break resistance of 1513 and bring it up to these other three resistance levels of 1592, 1657, and 1767 on a five day chart. And the next one we're going to talk about after CODX is going to be COCP. Co crystal. You tuck that in. Let's see if it had any news. Coca Cola stock falls 3%. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, that's Coca Cola. Well. makes a lot of sense. 
Crystal Farm announces plan to advance coronavirus program. So they're going to come. They're going to advance their study on it. That's an interesting little tidbit. This Miss Vegas pointed this stock out to me, so this is one we're going to be watching for next week. This is going to be a new one for me to keep an eye on. Crystal recently entered a license agreement with KSURF for further develop certain preliminary board spectrum on the compounds of human treatment of the coronavirus. So let's keep this on watch. Let's go straight to the chart. It also had a nice little breakout all the way down here from 47 cents. I guess I have been watching this stock, or I've charted it up at least. Let me go ahead and put a little resistance line right here at 175. We got a little support level right down here at 134. That's where I'd like to see it hold. It can dip back down here to a buck. That'll be a strong buy. We were down there Friday, and it had a nice little bounce up to one. Oh, heck, it ran all the way up to 188. So we've got low, low support. I'm going to say probably in this little channel right down here, right around 116. 99 cents. Dollar is going to be a strong buy. And the re first support level is going to be at 150. So we've got 150, 133, and 116 with strong buy around a dollar and a resistance to break of 175 to catalyze it up here for a catalyst to bring it to 199, 211, and 238. And I can raise that up just a little bit to 243, 244. And then I'm bringing in my 2019 trend lines of 253 and 281. And that's COCP. And then I've got one more left that I'm going to be watching for Monday. And that's going to be, everybody knows, N NVC. Big pipeline they have here. And this is going to be something that I'm going to really be watching for next week. We're going to go ahead and see if it had any news last week on it. Reports discovery of board spectrum virus binding legends expected to counter. Oh, this might be real good news right here. The company is working on a drug candidate to address the COVID-19 and has made significant progress in this regard. So yeah, this has got some pretty good news right here. We've got to keep a real good eye on this stock. Yep. I'm going to be watching it real close. So let's go back to the chart. That's my linear chart. I want to get to my TTM. As you see, it's also had a pretty good little run. Had a, kind of a pullback last week. And then Thursday after hours, it had a big breakout. Found a resistance up here at 13.14. Hit a high of double top of 13.85. And then she's had a descending pattern on back to support level. I have a red line support here at 10.19. I don't want to see it go much lower than that. That can be adjusted to this little area right in here at 10.41. So that's going to be your little channel of support level. If it does break this support level of 1072, it can fall back and hit this resistance high that we had back down here at 934. So that's going to be your low, low entry if it does dip on down that low. It's going to be that 934 area. So we've got two red line supports. We've got the 934 and the 1019 to 1041 resistance to break. We did try to break that up here a couple of times. So I'm going to put me a little trend line right here for a resistance to break of 1141. If we can get past that 1141, we'll definitely get up above to the next resistance line of 1232. And as you can see, we did have a high up here of 1314. That could be a pretty good resistance level also. And she could carry on up. But we're kind of starting to build channels in these stocks. This Corona run's been running for about two to three weeks now and it's just something to keep a real good eye on and that's going to be my watch list for i love stocks on the coronavirus 
We wish everybody a great trading week next week, and uh, we love stocks. Have a great day.